Hey guys, it's Ninja Nana's. I'm doing floor nine of the Decrepit Spire 2, Fifth Tower. What you're gonna need for this is Corrupt, Fable, and God. Um, the boss does have a counter here, counter heal Aegis, which um, means he's going to heal every time he takes damage, but just a small amount. So, um, also, the attack is 5,617. The, um, let's see. The health is 202,183,202. And the defense is 505,464. So, we'll start with corrupt. Um... This is probably what I'm going to use, but let's just see what else we got. Um, Fable. Fable, Fable, where are you? All right. And if I didn't have that corrupt team, I would use all four of these guys. He makes um, five dark gems both now and the next turn. So you would really not have to do too much you know, just set him off once, and then the next turn he'll, you know, he'll do his thing. And, um, I would either stick this guy in there. He makes up to eight power gem ones at a rate of three, so that's three power gem ones, because I don't have the full deck. And this guy here I love creates one dark power gem one, plus one additional for every eight stacks of fable intensity. So, um, as long as you're using your... If you have them, Fable Relics, that will definitely help. And he also increases the drop rate of um, Dark Gems for three turns. So that would be the ideal team. And then we go to God. Um, God. Um, so I would use her first and foremost. Where is she at? She makes um, six Dark Gem 2s. If there are four or more um, Dark Gem 4s on the board, she will make an additional six Dark Power Gems. And she heals for a very small amount. Um, so let me put in my Corrupt Team. Um, give me a second. All right, this one, she's going to make... I think it's five power gems for the next three turns. Let's just double check. Yeah. Um, so then we have these two, which I really hate using because you have to wait till you get to 75 skill points to even get enough gems that are gonna really help. And then we have this guy. Um, he creates three dark gem fours and heals. He's a six turn, so let's see. He is two, I think. They're all six turns, um, except for her, she's five. But when you think about it, she's um, actually a three, I guess a two cooldown, three, two, because she makes five dark gems both now and for the next three turns. So it'd be four, so she's a one, she'd be like a one turn cooldown. And this guy does the same thing as his um, twin brother over there. And she is a gem destroyer. She destroys 15 non-dark gems plus 3 additional gems for every 30 corrupt intensity. And she powers her own intensity up by 5 by turn. So she comes in handy. Um, we're going to put, since they're mostly commanders, um, we'll put a dark slayer event there. And the rest are going to be commanders. Um, there we go. That's a corrupt relic there. This is dragon, I believe. Trickster and fable, if I have my um, mind right. That should be it. Alright. So... Let's get to it. Make sure I have the right team.
All right, like I said, his health is pretty high. It's 202 plus million. So this definitely won't kill it at first. But we'll get those commander um, skill points up there. I'm not even going to set those guys off yet. Um, 60. I just want to, oops. I just want to get get it to 75, but I can't because I don't have any dark gems to work with. Unless I slid this one over here and then maybe snuck that in there. I mean, they're healing on their own, so. Alright, so I'm up to 90 um, commander skill points, um, corrupt intensity, which I didn't need for any of these cards except for this last one here, right? Yeah, for every 30. So she's going to destroy 15, 18 um, non-dark gems. Now that she's up to 30 intensity. Like, these guys still haven't lit up. So, um, we're just going to take what we can get right now. See how that works. That should be fine. Yeah, alright, well, it's not touching them, but, um, we'll fill up the rest of the meters. And like I said, you know, if you're doing this type of thing, keep trying to get rid of dark gems that you don't need. So I'm going to wait for that guy to finish up. I know I'm running out of turns, but not at a fast rate, so it's no big deal. All right, it should be the next turn, and we're getting our intensity up there. All right, now everybody's ready to go. So, let's start with, let's see. All right, let's start with him, 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 her, and let's see how this does. There we go. It just took a little bit of work. But um, I forgot to mention that boss had a counter heal. <laughs> totally slipped my mind. And it was healing a small amount every time it took damage. But it wasn't really enough to even be significant. So um, thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time. Stay well, stay safe, and stay home.